Hey, what's up, guys? This is Juan from ER Max Services. Today uh, we have another repair. We have here a A1706 2017 MacBook Pro, 13 inches. This is with touch bar. Okay. The problem with this computer is not powering on. Why is not powering on? That's what we're gonna figure. So if I connect my charging charging board. But the tester, you will see that it will go to no. Let me see how you can. Come on, there you go. It will go to twenty volts. No amps. You guys see it? Oh, it's the best way for you to see it. Over here. Let me show you. I don't like this tester. There you go. Wait, wait, wait. It goes to, there you go, 20 volts, 0 0.02 amps. So it means almost all the time that something is shorted. And that, that's why it's not taking the amps. Now, what is shorted that we're, we're going to figure it out? How are we going to do it? Like we always do. We go to power aliases. Okay. See the first thing, let me see I can fill something over here. No, it's not taking amp, so it's not gonna. So let's go to my schematic. And then, okay, here we go. So let's go to power aliases. Oh, run. One more time. Check. I always like to start with the PP bus. Is this one? No, it's the next one. There you go. So we're gonna start with PP bus, and on this model we need to have 13.1 volt on PP bus. So let's see how many we have, and we're gonna test it on the F8400 right here on the top. F8400. And where is it? Where is it? Right there. This is no. There you go. Little bit better. Okay. So let me show you here. Sorry. Eighty four hundred, right? Right there. So it says. Then we should have 13.1 volt. Let's see how many we have. And we have zero. Zero. So I don't have PP bus. If I don't have PP bus, my computer is not going to turn on. Nothing. Now let's let's check if it's shorted to ground. It is shorted to ground. That's why. Okay, so that's why I told you the beginning. That's why I told you the beginning that when there's no amps almost all the time something is shorted when you have 20 volts 0 amps 0.2 amps 0 0.1 amps 0 0.3 amps but like that it's not moving something is shorted is there's a short secret in the logic board so now we're, we're gonna do right now is gonna find what is shorted the first thing is the problem with the pp bus it goes to all these places so the first thing we're gonna check is we're gonna try to find a capacitor that looks weird. Let's see if we have any luck. So we're going to start over here, this corner, with all this capacitor. It could be any. Let, let, let's try to get one that looks different. If that doesn't work, 
we can always go with and put in with the power supply put in power over here it looks bad over here on the top mm -mm. well what about this let me show you let me sh this guy i don't know if you guys can see it from there oh you see there you go look let me show you this look Okay. Let's remove it. And let's see if anything change. Almost out, come on, almost out. It's out, now let's test. Or pad, or line again. That's it. Let me show you this. Don't go, don't go. So this little, it wasn't that little, but this guy was putting my PP bus to three hotline to the ground. There you go. Capacitor shouldn't do this. Just inductor is zero on resistors. So that's it. My line is good. Now, if I connect my charger, if now if I connect my charger, my line is gonna, it should be regular behavior. Let me show you. Man, that was good. Here. Okay. You see the amps? 081, 077, 079. That's it. Now I have to put a new capacitor and my board is ready for my customer. It took no more than three or four minutes to find it. And that's it. Man, I need to get another one of this. One more time. Be sure. Perfect. Okay, that's it guys. That that's what I'm saying. Always do the power analysis, aliases, power analysis, and follow the process. If PP bus is zero volts, remember it comes from PPDC in G3 hot or G3 hot ISO, depends on the computer. But at this point, that that was it. So PP bus is zero. You have your 20 volts coming from your CD3215. What you need to test why your PP bus is zero. I know by experience that mm, when there's no amps, it is a short circuit and a lot of the, of the, of the time is people budget hot. So in this case, it was this guy. Can you guys see it? It's too small, right? Uh, let me put it in front of you. This was the guy. That's it. Let me show you the other camera. No, not that one, this one. This was the guy. Of course, now I need to get another for, for a donor, put it on the board, and my board, I'm pretty sure that it's good. That's it, guys. I want to explain you that. Another process, another way, always with power aliases, and always check. 
check, check if a line is not giving you power. The first thing you need to do is check if that line is short circuit. Okay, that's it. See you guys later. Bye.